Before using any power tool, check that it's been properly inspected and maintained. Make sure it's fit for use. Its wiring, pneumatic hoses and isolation switches are all in good condition and that the proper guards are in place. If it's suspect or damaged in any way, it should not be used. Quarantine it, tag it as unsuitable for use and make sure it can't be used. If conditions are appropriate for using portable electrical equipment, raise any necessary permits to work and hold a toolbox talk. Test the wheel or disc by lightly tapping it with a non-metallic object. The wheel passes the test if it gives a clear metallic tone or ring. If it sounds dead, it is cracked, so don't use it. Make sure you have the right tool and the right kind of wheel or disc for the job. Never grind with a cutting disc. If the wheel or disc doesn't have a maximum RPM marked on it, don't use it. Don't modify or remove factory fitted guards. Be careful not to over tighten the spindle nut. If the tool has an auxiliary handle, use it. Wear goggles and a full face shield. Long sleeved, heavy duty coveralls. Properly fitting work gloves and safety footwear. Take off any jewellery and if you have long hair, tie it back. If conditions call for it, wear a dust mask and if necessary, ear defenders. Barriers around the area should be put up to prevent others from entering while you're cutting or grinding. While you're working, keep your hands away from all moving parts. Check your footing and stay well balanced, especially when you're on board a vessel. Keep all power cords away from heat, oil, the grinding wheel and other sharp edges and make sure they don't become a trip hazard. Before you bring the grinding disc or cutter into contact with the job, wait until the grinder reaches full speed. Don't put too much pressure on the wheel or the disc. That'll make it harder to control and could damage it. Check the direction of the sparks to make sure they're not endangering people or equipment. When you're attaching or changing wheels or discs, always disconnect and isolate the tool from the power source before you start. Don't lay down a tool while the disc or wheel is still spinning. When you've finished, don't disconnect from the power source by pulling the power cord or pneumatic hose. Switch off the power, disconnect electrical tools or bleed the remaining air out of pneumatic tools and put them away properly. If you've spotted any defects, report them to your supervisor. Are you prepared?